So we're getting ready for another project. This time it's solar power. Aptly named, we've got two solar panels, 100 watts uh, each, and they're to go onto the four peak of our Carver 3207. And there's one of them. They've just arrived. So this is a Christmas week project. Uh, we'll be on the boat mo over uh, most of Christmas. So need something to do. As well as the panels, we've got uh, two of the uh, joining leads. That's to join the two panels together. We've got lead to bring the panel power down into the boat. And that's going to take some working out. I've actually had to order a second set of those. And there's a set of leads to go to the battery. And again, I've ordered a second set of those. Reason being, uh, the controller we have purchased, open the box, allows me to charge to uh, and again it's a spark one um, allows me to charge to two banks two separate battery banks so we've got uh, battery one battery two and that's the infeed from the solar panels uh, and to allow me to see what is happening we've also got uh, a remote uh, unit to display the uh, how, what the charge rate is etc and that's just the RJ45 cabling to connect that to that and finally a set of brackets to mount the panels so that'll be an interesting uh, little exercise we'll see how that goes and just in case you were wondering, what is a map of the UK doing out on my table? Well, this is for our uh, journey in 2020. Uh, we're starting to work on uh, uh, the direction um, where stops are going to occur, where we need to be at certain times. Uh, that's Janet wanting to be there. Um, and uh, just really getting a, an idea of uh, of the plan and the route uh, so we can then start uh, doing all the uh, uh, detail planning for uh, for that expedition we just needed to do a test fit or test lay of the solar panel um, that's because there is a slight curvature to the four peak um, and I just wanted to make sure I'd got my dimensions right because of all the uh, compound angles.
why fit solar panels? Well, um, I get battery phobia. One of the things with a motor cruiser, you must be able to restart your engines. And if we're sat at anchor for a night or two, um, we might run into difficulties with the batteries. So we decided to fit solar panels. So we've just been checking the layout now. Uh, so they're the branches that come from each of the panels, join the two panels together. Uh, and that's my positive lead. That's my positive extension. There to there, that's five meters. And then we've got a three meter uh, terminal, which goes to that, that plane end will go to the control module and that joins onto that and so that's the positive line and we've laid out the negative line uh, and again everything's marked up uh, so minus 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 all the way through so we've got the control module which has got a back mounting piece there and it would look nice there no it will not it's but not no no is the answer even if it means we're not having solar panels no how about if i put it in here depends what's there and mount it in there behind this because there's nothing much behind there so it'll go uh, go into there i'll just have a hole to cut how's that that looks a lot neater okay depending boss. on what's behind there okay boss Hey, that's David just putting the battery charger back in a different position. Like I said, it is very, very tight in there. Got it plugged back in yet? <laughs> yep. That's in. That's on. Good. Right. Because what I need to do is open. I need to sort because those holes in in that are not big enough to take anything like a screw. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, then please do so. Also, press the bell icon. That will give you a reminder that there's a new video from Motor Cruising, here for Grace. The engine bay. I know. It's clean. I guess everything just slots into them holes at the bottom then? Yeah. <laughs> so all that's a just gloop that was blocking a hole up. I'm just uh, ripped all that lot out doing nothing so 
don't need to do anything else we've refilled it with wires okay so we've done a primary fit so we've got the lines that will come from the solar panels connected in I've got the RJ45 connected in to go to the uh, display panel and I've got battery one leads connected but not connected to any battery so they're just sat so that's just all dead it's all, all nice and safe um, all we've got to do is I'm waiting for another set of leads to come for a uh, second battery bank and then we can fit that and then we can lead everything to the batteries ready for when we mount the solar panels and connect all the cabling through.